gentlemen, once again, welcome to Lunch Money. I'm your host, Gina Savage. I'm a talent booker, the owner of Sunshine State Comedy. And I'm joined with comedian, host of her own show, Christy Unleashed, my dear friend, Christy Miller. Yay, Monday. Yeah, Monday, Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Nobody cares because it's Monday. Yeah, where's my shade? There it is. <laughs> Nobody cares when all the days run into the next and life as we know it is, is it's an a pop, a pop. I was going to say it's a pop star. It's apocalyptic. It's an a pop. It's an, it's an a pop star. <laughs> hey. it's, a, it's a, it's apocalyptic. It's a, you know, it can't. It's, it's apocalyptic. I, I, it's apocalyptic. Oh, come it's, on, it's man. It's apocalyptic. Good night. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> no. Uh, I had a poem. Let me just tell you about this Okay, poem. tell me a poem. It started, I'll never forget how it started, because it was about an ex-boyfriend. And when we, you know, how dramatic we are. And it started, yeah. <laughs> it started like this. It started, it's, it's, my friends and I joke about it till this day. The poem starts, wind, snow, and darkness for three days. Right, because the three days is what gets people: wind, snow, and darkness. And that's how I feel about COVID, freaking <laughs> Afghanistan, freaking Ida, freaking you know anything that's going on. It's like my shitty poem, except multiply that by infinity. Okay. Can I just say Ida? Remember when we were kids? Is that yeah. or Ida? All oh, Ida. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing all right about Ida. She is wreaking destruction everywhere. And speaking of destruction, Lori Summer. Uh, <laughs> said to say, said to say, she's low. She'll love that. Uh, I checked in. I checked in on her because her parents and she's she's on the Gulf Coast, you know. And, and for you know, our listeners, yeah. Lori Summer is a very funny comedian. She was also the assistant manager with Gina at the West Side Comedy Club here in New York City in the good old days. In the good old days. And so, yeah, pre nightmare. Okay. Um, so, anyway, uh, fall in the corner pocket. Stop there. Okay. So, <laughs> what happened? What ha happened was mm -mm. the Ida, the Ida, like the, the Ida. Ida. How old am I? The, the, the Ida came. The Rona and then the Ida. <laughs> the, the Ida came when last I checked, because can't watch it anymore. 500,000 people were without oh. power, but I wanted to check in on Lori Summer, who, by the way, says, hello, clitoris to you. That's how she said to say hello. Hey, I'm a Virgo. I'm not a clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she's I only, her. I think, uh, yes, and yes. And I wanted to check in because I'm, I'm about two hours away, but, you know, right. I can, you know, be there if I need to be there. And I just said, if you need me, but the outer bands, I have to look. This is indicating and acting. This is called, I'm indicating <laughs> that outer bands. It's, she's indicating outer bands and also crazy. Uh, anyway, uh, so it's bad. It's destruction. And uh, I am, uh, I'm over it. Happy Monday. Or your new, new. We subscribe. are. I don't believe that <laughs> we are the new, new. <laughs> I don't thought we was the old new, but no, we's the new, new. <laughs> We are the new noon. And you know, I don't know, and I don't want to think about it, but I got to think about it because it's been forced into my face. Uh oh. Oh, I can't. Let me put on the Schumers. I can't. And because oh. I only oh. just to, to get his name, because now, you know, it's just, uh, okay. <laughs> Spencer Eldon. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, wait, let me get my underbite out. You got your shoomers. Let me get my underbite. <laughs> he doesn't deserve, he doesn't, he doesn't deserve an underbite, but apparently Spence, oh, look, you can see my bad tooth. So I'm not going to do that. But Spencer is the Nirvana baby, you know, the baby oh, in the pool with the dollar. Yes. Spencer. Yes. And the Nirvana baby, who I guess thinks that everyone thinks that's what his, genitalia still looks like is you know seeking financial damages for something that uh you know for many reasons i think is uh, a blatant attempt to extort money uh even though 
you know, one could argue and one they are arguing that 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 could be considered child pornography. I, for one, oh. do not. But, you know, the Nirvana baby, I, I, I his no, parents I made that deal with the photographer. And I think really what they're saying, I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, you guys made a lot of money here, which I have never seen. And that's my image and likeness, which I, as a baby, did not have, you know, I could not give my consent for. I mean, are we going to go back to the copper tone kid with her ass sticking out? I mean, when does it stop? When does the victimhood stop? When you're for months and years, the guy is like, you know, I'm the Nirvana baby and showing up at like conventions and whatnot. And now all of a sudden your thoughts, Chris? My thoughts are Wah, I need attention. I want likes on Instagram. Nobody knows who the fuck I am. And I want to be paid attention to. I want to go viral and I want a couple of dollars to go with it. Shut up. You know who should have got paid? Your fucking parents. And they did. You should take it up with them and sit your ass down. Oh, it's child pornography. Give me a fucking break. Since when do people, well, well. Well, unfortunately, there's, there's certain anything states that jerk off to that album cover. Oh, I, I, I can't. But I, I'm tired. That, I'm tired the, of the victimhood. He's well, that's the problem. He's a, he's claiming emotional distress and lifelong loss of income. Really? You didn't want to parlay that into, hey, I'm, you know, I'm the, you know, like, I don't understand. That would have been to me a, a, a caveat, if you will. Like, oh, but, I'm I'm naked in my bathtub. When I'm five, my parents took the picture. I look adorable. It's not child pornography. You know, if the image was used in some way, it's the, the image. Oh, I can't. It's how the is, image is used. What's the image? What yeah, emotional distress did you have as a baby in a pool chasing a dollar? If anything, you should have grew up to be a stripper. Uh, he's trying to strip them of cash. Well, and I think, you know, I think there's a little bit of a case for maybe, you know, he should have been compensated or there should have been some sort of, you know, if this, you no, know. No, you signed a contract. It's a one-shot well, deal. Did. Oh, right. well. Right, the parents, well, right. Well, he was underage, so the parents, shut up. Just stop. Just stop. Stop reaching. Stop reaching for the high shells for shit you can't have and something that's so dumb. These people are reaching too far to be victims. I am tired of victimhood. Just shut up. Just be like, yeah, I'm the Nirvana baby. You want to suck my little baby dick? Here's a dollar. You know? Like, but yeah, but yeah. like, stop. Stop, well, thing, stop. Yeah. yeah, my thing is, had he not claimed being the Nirvana baby, right? If you didn't claim it, nobody would freaking know. How would I know you were the baby? How do How we know I he is? Know that? How do we know he really is? Well, L let me see the paperwork. <laughs> yeah, bring that paperwork out. Whip that uh, contract out, boo. I'm just, I'm, just no. Yeah. You know what he no deserves? One wants, right. Give him the dollar from the picture. That's what you get. <laughs> he was reaching for it, so. Yeah, like, just like, like this lawsuit. <laughs> just like this lawsuit. He's reaching. <laughs> anyway, I don't even think he deserves this much, much attention. No. Uh, but uh, he's getting it and who knows how long and frivolous and what time waster this is going to be for a bunch of people to have to deal with. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, come on, yeah. I, I, I can't. And other people have argued it better in terms of why this shouldn't even be a thing, but uh, it's just, it, it, it kind of, it was appalling to me. Like really, bro, really, really, yeah, just, really, you know what? Distress? I, yeah. Distress? You know what I'm going to do, Gina? Yeah. I'm going to sue Andrew Dice Clay for having my naked ass on his album cover face down ass up that I was only paid out a one shot deal. Like I want residuals from that. He should pay me. Really? That's do you see how ridiculous that sounds. I can't. It sounds. I can't. And I won't. Ida. I don't want an Ida. Ida. I don't want, Ida, I, Ida, Ida said thanks. Ida, Ida <laughs> pursued it back then, but then I'd have thought about it a lot longer and realized it's a stupid idea. <laughs> I just like, go back and fade into obscurity where you belong, my friend. Right? Seriously, if, if you're really this, you know, yeah. really. Anyway. It's enough. caused him. He hasn't been able to make any money.
Nobody has. It's a pandemic, you fucking cunt. God, I'm sorry. This is 12 noon, but 12 noon, we can say cunt because we are the new noon. We're not the old noon. Yeah, the new noon, you can say it. We've already said clitoris, so we might as well go there. Hey, I tried Uh, one of those Ford clitorises. (laughs) Nothing. (laughs) Anyway, what else is on the agenda? (laughs) Well, there's so much. Look, there's... I don't want to, I don't want to rehash COVID. I don't want, I, even no. though it's, it's, it comes, Rehats, it's, it's right. It, it's the refurbished COVID, the <laughs> Delta COVID. It's the Rocky uh, three. Oh, it, it's back yeah, stronger and, and faster. Uh, mm, uh, mm, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know a couple of people. This is COVID. Yeah. Hey, kill the Russia. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I will say this though. I did see that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm wrong or I'm right. It came up in social media. I'm not even really looking at stuff anymore. Of course, social media is always right. It's always right. Sure. Uh, sure the, the it Pfizer, is. the head of the Pfizer didn't take the shot. Is that true? False narratives? No, I don't stop, know. Stop, stop, I'm, stop, I'm just, stop. I'm just, that's I'm stupid. Just, no, no, that's stupid. That's, uh, well, that's I, just people. It, stop. Stop. I'm stopping. I stopped it's, it's dumb. four it's, seconds it's... ago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been done. Stop. I don't know where I'm going next. Okay. I'll tell you where I'm going next. Where are we going? We're going to the dating world. Because nobody's really dating. But when they are, apparently. <laughs> Is it even called they... dating anymore? <laughs> it's called swiping. Uh, yeah for love i swipe for love uh swiping right swiping right mostly left but anyway i um, swipe left i don't swipe alt right good night thank you oh (laughs) so there's a a term now when all right so it's called roaching oh yes i've heard about this yeah now, the difference between, because I, I was like, oh, it's got to be what shelving is, right? Because back in, in my day, it was the shelving. Oh, <laughs> when I was your so, age, we shelved the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so explain, we shelved, so explain shelving, because I'm not okay. sure what that is either, because I don't date okay. much. Okay, shelving is when a man or woman or individual, mm-hmm. human being, okay. says, you're great but I'm going to put you on one of these shelves back here because I got, you know, maybe a couple of other people on the shelf. You're cool. I like you. I might go out with you. I'm going to shelve you. I've, I've been on the shelf. I've been on the shelf where they shelve you and they want to fuck around. And when they're ready to settle down with a normal person, then they try to come back and pull you off the shelf, Uh, reaching uh, like the Nirvana baby. (laughs) (laughs) Reaching. Just reaching. For it should the, be called reaching, not roaching. <laughs> well, well, okay. So now the difference, okay. I can't. Roaching Uh-oh. is hiding the fact that you're seeing multiple partners, but it's only roaching when there are many others. Now I find that more, I mean, if I haven't done the research, nor do I care to, but more men probably roach than women. They probably yeah. have multiple partners. Yeah. And that's why when they're freaking at dinner with you uh, and they're still looking at their phone, one of those roaches, if maybe that's what they are, or he's the roach, I don't know who the roach is, but the roaches are in here. Well, this is a battery pack, so they're <laughs> not in, in there. But the roaches are all over the place. And you got to decide whether or not. Uh, you need to get a can of Raid. Yes. Elec- well, unless you just want a can of Laid. Nothing. There's <laughs> nothing left. I've got nothing. <laughs> These are the times we live in. Yeah, it's all this technology and swiping. It, it, and then being in a pandemic. How did people date in a pandemic when there's, like, you know what I mean? Like, I knew a lot of people that were COVID dating. And you know, like they were sneaking around, like they're trying to hide from the COVID. Hey, if I don't like go, if I just sneak over to their apartment, then the COVID's not going to see me go home. <laughs> and then I'm going to sneak back over here, and the COVID's still not going to see me. Like I much, <laughs> much like a roach sneaking Hello. from apartment to apartment. Yeah, but yeah, and then yeah. you turn the lights on. 
If I stood still, then the bitch ain't gonna see the dude fucking all the other bitches. <laughs> I, I, it's always, I, I can't. Like, it's just, it's so funny. It's, it's so bad. It's Roche, so bad. In our, in our day, we used to call that hoeing. This or is not hoe. committal. Yeah, like it's just a hoe. It's not a roaching. Well, we have to identify. Of them. Like, stop, yeah. like, stop trying to reinvent the wheel. The guy's just a player. We used to call him players. Oh, he's a player. Don't fuck with him. He's a player. He fucks everybody. Now, now, now they've flipped it and made the women the roaches. <laughs> oh, I can't. This is, this is, yeah. this is wrong. Or they could be I'm men. Offended. The men could be roaches. <laughs> The men Trigger. can do the roaches. As if a woman is, I, I, it, it's, there are women that, you know, look, most times you got to have a very detached view of sex to have multiple, multiple things yeah. going on. You, and especially yeah. now with COVID and all this other stuff and lives and people with no jobs. Ed Asner, Ed Asner died. <laughs> Hey, oh, segues are for kids. I don't have time. I don't have time. There's too much injustice in the world, and Ed Asner's dead, and he can't do anything about it anymore. Ed Asner's be. dead. Ida's a category four. She's a four. She's a, oh, she was a four. She was a five, and then she's a four. God, I, she's I losing her looks already. <laughs> like, she was a hot five. Now she's a cute four. <laughs> But Ed is gone, and I love oh, me some Mary Tyler Moore. I, I a, love Ed Asner, Lou Grant. I, I have a little bit of a Mary that I do. Do you? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. It's not okay, going to be that see. great. I'm going to Mis- live for- <laughs> Okay, right. wait, no, okay. no. Okay. Mr. Grant. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Now you sound, it was higher. You sound Mr. like Mary Tyler Moore <laughs> doing Lucille Ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad it was i used to do it so good because my voice is so much deeper now as i age and smoke more cigarettes <laughs> Mr. it's more like cigarettes. <laughs> i'm dead i'm it dead is. i'm dead god bless no Mr. ed asner right. is doing i'm right. dead <laughs> I'm, I'm dead uh no it would have been uh oh man how would i say it as as me i would be like Mr. Grant, <laughs> Mr. Grant. That's why I don't get cast in sitcoms because I'm just too. <laughs> Mr. Grant. She's either sexy or fucking weird. We gotta go. um, I can Mr. do this share. Mr. Grant. <laughs> hey. Uh... Yeah. Uh, oh, welcome to lunch money, everybody. <laughs> lunch money, where we're losing it. I don't even have coffee. I can't. Well, I don't even have coffee. Uh, Gina, I'd have grant you that cup of coffee. <laughs> that was bad. I don't want to know. Uh, oh, God, that's hilarious. So, yeah. Rest he in peace, a- Ed Asner. Yeah. Actually, well, Erzy, Erzy called dead Asner. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Well, that was a good joke. That was, was good. good. That You're was good. good. You. Um, five-time <laughs> Emmy Award winner for that show. Yeah. yeah. Killer show. Killer show. I watched it. A lot of spinoffs. A lot of spinoffs. Then he was in the very serious Lou Grant. That was a, yes. that was a more serious Lou Grant. Yes. Lou. Yes. Lou. Lou. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, to recap, Ida. <laughs> <laughs> shitty nirvana guy <laughs> i'm not gonna get into afghanistan and covid they're still present ed asner's dead i don't have a job how are you same <laughs> i'm just fucking piecing together i wrote so much new material and i'm just been on stage every night just doing different 10 minute bits like different 10 minute chunks because i'm doing the album at the end of the year and all the new stuff's really hitting, so I'm really happy, and that's that's it. Otherwise, I don't have a job either. <laughs> but I mean, you have shows coming up, right? Yeah, you have some stuff coming up. Not that yeah, we, you I'm know. Doing, yeah, I'm doing a little at uh, this girl show on uh, Tuesday night at Greenwich Village Comedy Club. It's called Fake News, and <laughs> perfect. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Renoska, this girl Renoska, and this guy Steve Cohen—they're young comics. 
they're good kids though. And uh, they asked if I, if I do it because, you know, I do a lot of stuff about Cuomo and all that stuff. So it's all about, you know, things happening in the news. So um, right. I get to do all my Cuomo stuff, which I love doing. And I've added to it since, you know, of course. This, you know. So anyway, so that's Tuesday. And then Wednesday night, Christy Unleashed, 9 p.m. Eastern time on Governor's Comedy Club Radio on the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, so that's every Wednesday night at nine. And uh, that's, you know, it's a slow week, you know, a good holiday week, but I have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm actually not minding because, you know, in a couple of weeks is my birthday. And uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's so, and then that usually lasts a month. Your birthday, you have stuff going on all yeah, month long I, with that. So yeah, because like they want to do a roast for me at the Grizzly Pear Comedy Club and do like a big roast and birthday party do you know what do you know what day that is going to be uh, we're looking potentially. at potentially uh, we're looking at my actual birthday wednesday the 15th so That's we're uh but it's not nothing's in stone yet i don't even know who i want on the the show like to roast like you know i put the feelers out there to see who'd be interested a lot of people right. are chicken because they know i get to get up at the end and roast all of them so they're a little scared <sighs> So, well, if they if they knew I was coming, <laughs> oh. the jokes be a flying <laughs> <laughs> deflection, deflection. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Christy, Gina's back. <laughs> Gina's back. No, I mean no, because you always got to roast some of the people on the dais mm-hmm. too. So, mm-hmm. so, uh, but yeah, oh, let yeah. me know because I did. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to be away. I was supposed to be in New York right now. Yes, right now with you, and I bailed on that trip uh, for a number of different reasons. Uh, but uh, I could, you know, I could potentially reschedule in that time frame yes. for a couple of days. So I, and let, I can. Oh, yeah. that'd be, that would be so fun if you were here for yeah. that. So I'll find yeah. out. We'll figure out the dates. And as soon as we figure it out, I'll let you know if we even do it. You know, So who knows? But it's just the thoughts that are out there. And I also want to do other stuff, too. So I'll, I'll keep everybody posted. I haven't okay. decided yet. Cause I didn't get a 50th last year. We were in lockdown. So this year I'm 51. So I'm going to do 50 again. So. Yeah. You got to have a, a real. Yeah. I have to have a real, yeah. like, you know, half century. <laughs> hey, grandma. <laughs> hey, How granny. About the Jones 50th, you know? Oh yeah. That's right. That's the, that's the one that you should have for sure. Yes. So, um, so we were, uh, so for me, in terms of like what's going on, pretty much nothing, right? I'm watching the news like a lunatic, getting the sunshine, trying to stay healthy, trying to do my thing, blah, blah, blah. Searching out venues, as you know, I'm trying to get that going. But I have a trip planned at the end of the month. So that's kind of like whatever. So it's kind of, do I start something new or do you just continue and then right. go it's away? Actually, maybe it's, it's good that you're on a break so you can go take your trip and not stress about right. the new venue. That's smart. Right. But but we'll see because there's a few things I'm looking into and um, and yeah so I'm waiting to get some uh, responses back but the feelers went out this week I haven't been that lazy with that kind of stuff but um, you know to backtrack a notch we were talking about dating and um, I don't know if you've heard about this service called uh, Jerkmate I can't even see. <laughs> Hey, this is where you meet up and you jerk each other off, <laughs> or is this, or is this like chess jerk, mate? <laughs> oh, I can't even believe I, I said that on a Monday at noon. Jerk, mate, everyone, have you tried this service? No, I have not. Jerk, uh, mate. But <laughs> checkmate, yeah. checkmate, checkmate, jerkmate. Uh, so, uh, uh, what it is, I suppose, from uh, is is live people that you can uh, watch do that deed while you do that deed so you have a mate so it's basically socially distance porn yeah (laughs) i mean wasn't that what only socially distance glory hole socially Uh, distance uh, glory hole glory hole (laughs) wasn't that what i'm drawing eyeballs as you tell this that's kind of creepy though staring at somebody in the eye and you're jerking off and you're staring uh, 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 like i have a yeah so so that's what jerk made is i remember once i think i was watching a little bit uh you know because i i'll I'll occasionally watch some porn like any other healthy human being 
a little bit. And um, great storylines, by the way, like phenomenal. Yeah, like, uh, hey, are you my assistant? Uh, Okay, here are the papers. Oops, they dropped. Why are you down there? I mean, that's how literally some of these are. Like, you're my assistant and you dropped the paper. You ordered this. Did you somebody uh, order a package? <laughs> it was horrifying. Uh, but yeah, one time I think what happened was it got attached to my Twitter account once, and um, it posted something on my Twitter, like something pornographic on my Twitter, and I'm like, I did not post this. Like it got linked up with my Twitter, which is frightening. I'm just saying, be careful, people. <laughs> you might twit be- your twat. <laughs> and scene and that's right. our show folks it really kind of is <laughs> that's how lame we are this week because we don't want to talk about how shitty it is yes we want to be laughy laugh so we want to be laughy laugh so we love you guys this has been another episode of lunch money uh we are your new noon i am christy miller and as always gina savage and uh We will see you every Monday right here on the YouTube channel on 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to get Velcro. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And especially share. (laughs) And uh, we'll see you next Monday, bitches. Bye.